two, one, bang. I don't know what you were thinking. 24 is going to be hell. What up, guys and gals? How's it going? It's Backwoods. I wanted to come to y'all today and show y'all this insane video that I found. And it's freaking insane. But I also wanted to address something about the Radioactive Podcast today. I wanted to let everybody know, you know, that Nathan and I had met backstage before we did the Radioactive Podcast. We come together, talked, figured out, yada yada, done all this stuff. I told him, you know, look, man, I, I know I'm I'm volatile sometimes. I, I know. I, I get upset. I'm passionate. He's like, cool, man. That's that's what I want. That's what I want for this podcast. It's like, cool. All good. And we continue, you know, so we put warning labels, you know, Nation does. He puts uh, warning labels. He puts uh, parental guidance, you know, parental advisory, what whatever, you know. He puts all this stuff on there. And it's called the Radioactive Podcast, man. It's 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 toxic. It's it's yeah. And look, if if you don't like that kind of thing, that's cool. That's cool. Don't watch. If you're a Prepper Nation subscriber and you don't like that, then don't watch it. It's all good. It it is a separate podcast that he wanted to do once a week. We talked about it. We made the deal. It's, it has nothing to do with his channel on a daily basis. He puts out videos all the time. We did a radioactive podcast yesterday, and he put out a, he done a live stream this, today. So he makes all kinds of content. Nation does. So you know, don't don't get upset at him because he does something once a week that he wants to do. You don't have to listen. It's all good. The people that are there, the people that are still there, they're, they're the ones that want to hear this kind of thing. They want to hear the radioactive podcast. If you want to listen to it, but you might have children around, put in a headphone, a earbud. You know, you can put in one, listen to it, and make sure you know your kids are not getting out of hand, yada, yada. That way your children don't have to listen to bad things, bad words, things that might get said. It is a uh, the radioactive podcast is an adult only podcast, plain and simple. Anyway, I wanted to address that and then uh, again, I wanted to address this insane uh, address this insane video that I'm about to show y'all. And, uh, man, all I can say is just, uh, just watch. I'll come back afterwards and we'll, we'll talk about it. Okay, what in the absolute fuck was that? What in the absolute craziness was that? Okay, so just to give you a little context about the video, let's read the article here. I've got it right here. Texas woman mistaken as intruder and shot by police. Um, apparently, uh, Ebony Pouncey who was shot by police in Houston because they mistook her for an intruder in her own home. 
Um, she's got an attorney, Ben Crump. Uh, dramatic new body cam footage shows Harris County Sheriff's Office deputies in Houston, Texas, opening fire through a window while responding to a reported break-in. Spans for a total of four minutes, they say, the, the, the complete video, which they, they run downstairs and, and everything after they do this. Uh, so apparently a, a car alarm begins to go off. Um, one of the op officers says something to the other, and then two begin shooting after one of the officers allegedly spots Pouncey inside with a gun. One of the officers reloads their weapons and continues firing before the two retreat downstairs and notify colleagues that shots were fired, which they actually notified shots were fired in the, in the middle um, during the shooting. And I do believe that there were multiple mag dumps going on. A gun was, re was recovered in the apartment entryway. Uh, she was shot five times by the police. She said, I started seeing holes in the walls and then realized that there was something coming through my apartment. Apparently, she has a one-year-old girl, one-year-old daughter. Uh, according to the sheriff's office um, account in the video, the deputies were to investigate a reported break-in and saw the front window screen removed, broken glass and blinds raised near the front door. The deputies knocked. And one, uh, one of them announced their presence. It is unclear from the body cam footage where the glass was broken. Hmm. Pouncey, a friend of the woman who lived in the apartment, sustained a total five gunshot wounds to the leg and torso, according to her attorney. Uh, none of Pouncey's vital organs were struck. Thank God the woman's got a child, man. Jesus Christ, um, it just goes on to talk about, you know, people have their Second Amendment rights and things like that. Pouncey's friend, who was with her in the previous night, said that she had forgotten her keys to the apartment. The friend told Pouncey to break the window so they could enter, she said at a news conference last Friday. The two had been in the house for about 20 minutes when they heard a loud bang on the front door. Pouncey's friend said Pouncey grabbed her gun and went to the door, and she was fired upon by the deputies. In the cell phone video acquired an ABC-owned station, um, officers can be hearing direct, directing Pouncey's friend to come down the stairs after the shooting. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. I'm not coming down them stairs just yet, man. Y'all, you're freaking, y'all are insane, man. I live here. Please don't shoot, she responds before officers ordered her to the ground and handcuffed her. <sighs> Jesus Christ, man. Can you imagine hearing somebody beating at the door some odd hours of the night? Um, in the early hours of February 3rd, so... It, it it obviously was dark, so um, I don't know. But can you imagine hearing somebody beat at the door? You grab your pistol. Logical. At night, you go to the door. You're approaching the door, and you get fired upon. You know this this insanity. These 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 two cops. This is my personal opinion. These two cops need to be fired immediately. No paid leave. Investigated. You know, put on trial, and should never be able to work in the police force again. That's my opinion. Um, if you're that scared to death. You know, I, I, I get the gist of it, you know, you're, you're a cop, you're approaching a house, the window's broke, you've been called for a burglary. Um, you know, do you open fire like that without finding out maybe maybe the burglary's already happened and the homeowner's now home? How can you not know, you know what I'm saying? How can you not know 
for sure what the hell is going on, okay? They knocked at the door. Maybe the homeowner was back in his room or her or whatever. The homeowner's back there, and they're, they're digging through their stuff, you know, kind of looking around, thinking, you know, if it was really a burglary, you see what I'm saying? And, and you're back there, and you're trying to figure out what's missing or whatever. You hear a pounding at the door. You're, you're, you, you know, you're, you're nervous. You, come, you know, your house has been violated. You come to the door, and boom. Or let's say there ain't no break-in. Happened what just happened. You know, they, they, they freaking, you know, broke the window to get in. There's a call. The cops pull up. They have no more. They, they have nothing but the call that they got. Okay? I'm going to say that, that what should have happened was, you know, drop the gun. Who are you? You know, they should have went ahead. If they were that nervous, they should have went back downstairs and, you know, went back down the stairs and waited for more help. Um, got a tactical advantage and figured out what was going on. Used the speakerphone, you know, got the microphones. They got, they got radios. They can get loud and stuff and find out, you know, hey, it's the police outside. You know, come outside, you know. I'm sure the lady would have gladly put her gun down, went out, seen, seen the cops, went outside and been like, yo, you know, hey, we live here. You can come check it out whatever anyway i just wanted to share this with y'all man this is insanity so um as a reminder if something happens at your house pay attention to who's pulling up because for god's sakes the police will freaking shoot you to pieces in your own home because you've got a gun in your hand you know this this crap has got to stop man this crap has got to stop. You, you know, if, if I hear a pounding at the door late at night, I'm coming to the door with a gun. And if somebody starts shooting at me through the door, if I'm not hit, I'm, I'm returning fire. And then they're going to try to get me for some trumped up charges that I was firing on the police officers. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. This needs to end. There needs to be more training for these police officers, and if they're that damn scared, they don't need to be on the police force. Anyway, when you prepare your mind properly, things will fall into place. Backwoods out.